Not even the most optimistic scientists dared to hope the first COVID vaccine could be this effective. Clinical trials have shown the prototype made by Pfizer and BioNTech is 90% effective. The companies are planning to apply for emergency approval to start rolling out the vaccine from the end of the month. 10 million doses should be in the UK stockpile by the end of the year, with another 30 million to follow. We absolutely cannot rely on this news as a solution. And the biggest mistake we could make now would be to slacken our resolve uh, at a critical moment. More than 43,000 people in six countries were given either the vaccine or a placebo jab and then tracked to see how many caught COVID. The company still has to analyse safety data, but no significant problems have been seen so far. The hopes of billions of people and millions and uh, businesses and hundreds of governments that were felt on our shoulders, now we can uh, credibly tell them, I think we can see light at the end of the tunnel. The vaccine is codenamed BNT162B2. It's given as two doses three weeks apart. It contains a small piece of RNA, the virus's genetic code, which instructs human cells to make the viral spike protein, triggering an immune response. It's technology never used before, and it should be quicker to scale up than traditional vaccines. But one expert warned the company still needs to prove the protection lasts and that it works in older people. And that's crucial. If it doesn't protect against the uh, disease in the elderly or older 55 plus, then it's not going to have a big impact on mortality, and that's clearly what we want to see. There are 10 vaccines in late-stage clinical trials. Oxford University and AstraZeneca are due to reveal how well their prototype works by the end of the year. They were one of the first out of the blocks in the spring, but were overtaken by Pfizer. It really isn't a race at all. For, for the, the world, we need to have multiple successful vaccines. And I, I don't think any of us have, have been going into this trying to be first. What we want is to make sure that there's global equi equitable access to vaccines. The vaccine still has much to prove, but scientists are optimistic that those most vulnerable to disease can be protected by the spring. That would reduce the burden on the NHS and put both the economy and our lives back on track. Thomas Moore, Sky News.